<laughs> National Black Cat Day. We used to have a black cat. Yeah. He's come on this podcast. Yeah. Dead. <gasps> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Iris. Iris. Isn't that one of the, uh, what, what, what band is that? The Goo, the Goo Goo Gals? The Goo Goo Dolls? Goo Goo Dolls? The Go, the Go Go. The Goo Goo, do, the, the, the Goo, Goo Goo Dolls is a thing and the Go Go's is a thing. The Go Go Girls? No, the, I think it's the, the Indigo Goo Goo Girls. Dolls. What does that have to do with <clears throat> Iris? Is that one of their songs? And I don't want the world to see. It's called Iris. Is that even that song? I don't know. <laughs> How's it going, guys? And um, this here is Frank. Um, he's looking a little like Persian to me, a little Persian warrior. Yeah, you see is. this new thing where people are using like this AI art creator, like no. it's AI art, and you write in anything, and it goes into its AI database and like scavenges the internet. No, I don't and know. This. Compiles. Like makes a, a their a own unique image, like what would you? You can write example? anything. Like someone will write loneliness, and it's just this like oh photo that that's like, what you meant. Yeah, it's like a girl like walking alone or something. And and it's free for them to use. I think so. I don't even know what it's called. Maybe they'll sponsor us. But there's a guy on TikTok who's doing like um, he's searching like a name of a country and warrior, and like they come out like really cool. Anywho, um, how are you guys doing? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Have you ever done it on your actual phone? You know, there's a search on your actual phone and you can write loneliness. And like sometimes it'll show you pictures of and you're like, what? It'll be like a picture of your dog or something. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, what? Like mostly. So you have a search um option on your phone. Yeah. So you can write you can write dogs, bathrooms. OK, you can write thing. It doesn't grab everything. And sometimes it doesn't grab anything so you could write fork and maybe there was a fork somewhere in the in your gallery but it doesn't come up yeah but also sometimes you can write stuff like clown and it'll be your grandma and it'll show you photos and you're like yeah did i see a ghost yeah 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 this weekend i went to the um the 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 villain arts i think i said that on friday that i was going to it yeah the uh the tattoo convention down in wildwood yeah the beach was more than a tattoo convention yeah well they always are I've never been. Yes, you have. Not in my new life as a new man. Okay, um, well, as an old man, you went and and um, just like any good, sh- like any good c- 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 corporation, no, any when you come together. Yeah. Any good uh, thing where everybody comes to connect. Yes, um, you can get tattoos there, but they also have merch, merch. and they have. Um, just performers. They have contests. Oh. They have performers. Um, yeah. So you pay um for to be part of this and um. And you met someone. Oh yes. A man. No. A man. So when you say you met someone, it sounds. Oh like, oh oh oh. Yeah. No, one of the performers was Verona Fink. So, there's no other Verona. There's didn't no know other there was. Verona out there. That's why I know she's mystical and magical, mm. and I'm sure she wasn't. You know. Went to grade school. Yeah, and, you know, no, goes to she the appeared there. She appears and there. She, she's she's like a she's a part of me. Yeah, that's out there performing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You got a photo with her. Yes. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything nearly as exciting this weekend. Um. No. No. I. I. Uh, well, I had to make the trip to to Wildwood, so it wasn't just the the uh, tattoo convention. I was on the boardwalk. It's it's a beach destination it is it's the beach destination atlantic ocean new jersey beach destination did you touch the water no way i imagine it's very cold it it was just so far like i could see it but it was still so far yeah the wildwood beach is the the ocean is like a mile away from yeah. the boardwalk you know why because it's below it at, like out of those islands or whatever that's called when it's like detached Peninsula or something it's like the lowest point. Yeah. And so every year it gets even more beach because yeah. the sand. It, it wasn't that far when I when the I first. sand is going when down I there. When I first grew up. Um, and so I saw uh, people playing bocce ball, which I talked about before. I want to yeah. play it. There's bocce ball over at the, uh, the old park at I work at. the park, at. I know. But you said yeah. you don't have the balls? We do. You do? Yeah, we do. You can come in, borrow the balls, and start botching it up. I want to do that. Yeah. Now, do you have flat surface? 
No, not it's so pretty great. gravelly. Like, yeah, it's like it's. I would not say it is a professional bocce ball court. This was um very high end specific. Yeah, yeah, and they had you know those super. I feel like I'm getting bit, and I'm I not. I think you're some magic. Okay. Things. <laughs> um, the, it's a big heavy wheel. And you, it, it looks kind of like a lawnmower, but it's a big, heavy wheel. And it's to flatten surfaces. Yeah, you see it on like baseball courts. Do you? I don't know. They have something like that. Baseball court? Baseball fields. Where are you from? Baseball yeah. fields. You're at I, AI. <laughs> correction, correction. <laughs> um, okay. So they flatten it down beautifully. And it's also like, it looks like this table. I don't know. It's like a black, it's not sand. It's yeah. like... Yeah, it's um some kind of good surface you can. I don't know the rules. Well, I think all the rules are in Italian, so I'm gonna learn it. Up, I'm gonna learn it. Brush up on your Italian, and uh, you'll be able to learn the rules. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like everyone knows it's an Italian game, right? Yeah, I don't know if everyone even knows it. Yeah. Even bocce, bo. yeah, because like the word, like you would read it like bose. It's yeah, like B-O-C-C-E, B-O-C-C-E. but Italian is bocce. But the only people that you see playing it are old Italians. I like, know it's not like. Every sport is derived from somewhere. Right. But it's like, that's just. Well, that's the danger of being exclusive. You, you, you kind of yeah, you, can you, die out. Yeah. Exactly. If you don't, if you don't, um, you know, even in Ireland, um, I see multi-ethnic Irish dancers now. I see Asian and, yeah. and um, black little Irish dancers. And it's like, yeah, like you don't want to hold it just for. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep the new generations coming in. Yeah. Um, well, that's a fun weekend. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything special like about the weekend. There was like a full moon, I think. Yeah, it was full yeah. moon. I saw it. it was one of those like scary ones when I saw it. It was, was like it? you ever see it real low and it's big and orange. Mm. And I said, "Ooh, e god, something bad's gonna happen tonight." No. Yeah, full moon no. brings all, full moon never brings anything good. That's for sure. Um, brings light. So if you live in the forest, you probably look... That's the sun. Yeah, but the I mean... sun bouncing off the moon. I know, but without the full moon, your your night is dark. Well, where we live with all of our light popula- population, with all of our light pollution, I don't think it's ever really dark. I'll right. You, I'll tell you that much. You're right. I saw this guy on TikTok and he was saying, you know these questions of, is there more wheels or is there more chairs? Yes. And so he asked this person, is there more stars in the sky or trees on earth? And the guy was like what like of course stars in the sky and he's like i know that you can see and it's like i'm gonna go stars in the sky he's like sorry so it's, uh, it's trees on earth and then he was like there's three there's three trillion trees on, on earth and we can only view 300 million stars and i'm like i don't believe that like it's it's wrong i feel like the answer is wrong at least the way it's worded yeah is there more stars in the sky that's the question and i think the answer is of course there is yeah because Cause then who's i what do telescopes count? Right. Uh, we got the old. Uh, we got the old. Yeah, because I mean, how many trees can we see right now? A lot. Well, that's but... what he said. Yeah, no, so he said, um, no, only ones that are visible. He's like, um, well, not all trees are visible to us. Right. And right. he's like, he was asking all the right questions, and I was, I, I was with him. I'm like, you know what? That guy deserves his two dollars, whatever. These... I know, but maybe this guy just wanted to like trick people or something. <laughs> yeah, but trick people with a question that's real. How about that? Oh my God. National Black Cat Day. We used to have a black cat. Yeah. He's come on this podcast. Yeah. Dead. <gasps> <laughs> Dead. Living somewhere else. In the ground. In heaven. Do all cats go to heaven? Of we course. know all dogs go to heaven. All cats go to heaven. Every single one? Yeah. What are the bad ones? There's no bad cats. Who takes care of the cats that weren't loved on earth? In heaven the you can take care of yourself. Loved on In heaven you can take care of yourself. Even the cats? Yeah. Huh. Cats can pretty much take care of themselves on Earth. That's true. They're pretty self-sufficient. But um, yeah, National Black Cat Day. I like how there's a distinguishing thing. Why is it bl- in August? It should be in October. October? Well, because maybe they're trying to destigmatize the whole black true. cat thing. I think it's like kind of messed up that it's always a bad luck cat. Yeah. Like the full moon earlier, I was just saying, you know, it was full moon. There's black cats. Those two things don't need to be spooky. Okay. Well, you were spooked by the full moon. I was, and I was ignorant. So you're <laughs> <laughs> until just now. So you're uh, not. It's a great also example. National Love Your Feet Day. I wish it was tomorrow. I'm going to the podiatrist tomorrow. The podiatrist? Yes. Is that a foot doctor? Yes. Nice. Love your feet. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I could see why that would be the end of August because all summer you've been walking barefoot, yeah, probably. That's, that's, yeah. That's the whole idea of the holidays. Yeah. How much your feet do for you? Um. 
And uh, a lot of people love other people's feet. I think it's a whole um, subgenre. It it of is YouTube videos. I don't know why though. I mean, but I think I learned, and, and oh. it, it actually made me sympathetic to foot fetishers, okay. foot fetishizers. Um, it's neurological. Oh, so when you and I see feet, we say those are just feet. Those yeah. Kind of, oh, oh, actually, even if your mind goes more, it's like it's kind of gross. Like yeah, they smell and they're on the ground. Feet are gross. Yeah. In the brain, the something about like the foot, like a foot neuron of like the way you see feet is very close to like the sexual organ, like neur- neurons. What? And so they get crossed. Okay. And so it's when someone sees feet, even though feet are not a sexual desired organ, right? Because like we're biologically programmed to like big old butts and, and thin waists and Big thighs, right? It's, it's, it, anytime you think like, oh, I'm human. No, your sexually desire desires come from biological breeding thing over okay. years. Right, right. So the foot fetish is a mistake in that where oh. you're mistaking feet or your brain. Oh, is. So it's like you, you're getting you, a signal. Yeah, you can never do it like consciously, but your brain is mistaking feet for a sexual organ. Oh, wow. And so you see it and it's like if you just see... A, a beautiful woman who's topless on the beach and it's wow like, oh my like, uh, your, your feet and it kind of gives you a little bit of sympathy right of course but then you know it doesn't give me sympathy for when people like you know spend top dollar on them like why, why not sympathy no I, I have sympathy for the desire but i mean like i, I wouldn't have sympathy for a guy who says you know give me I'll well two thousand dollars i do have sympathy for anyone who is has a compulsion to spend oh, absolutely. money yeah no so uh-huh. maybe he can't stop himself but if he has the money yeah and that's the other thing. Spend your money on anything you want. Yeah, it's like, you know, he didn't have to have a foot fetish. I'm really just defending myself right now. It's normal, guys. Nah, just kidding. I don't like feet that much. Okay. <laughs> just cut this out. <laughs> Any other days? No. There is, but it's all dumb holidays. Yesterday was the Feast of the Assumption. The Feast of the Assumption. Um, the Feet of the Assumption. <laughs> the last things we saw of Mary as she, <laughs> she went up. Um. Oh, nice. This so, is, yeah, she sort of looked like this, but probably more feminine, but maybe not. I probably a little more clothes. She might have been a handsome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe there's a strong wind. <laughs> she went up. I love you, Mary. Um. Feast of the Assumption was yesterday. Awesome. Um. Are you supposed to eat anything? Eat. Feast. Oh, that just means a feast day, like the the. So celebra- you're not supposed to eat on a feast day. You are. It, what? Oh, okay. You just treat it normal. It's just a celebratory day. Like, let's have a feast. No, like I've told you before, even um, a saint's feast day is, when they die. is when they die. And it just means the day that instead, like, oh, so, like your birthday. Okay. So, and the day you're assumed is kind of like, that it was her day into heaven. Right. So, it's a feast day. So, it's like right. the day of the assumption. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, Mary. See you soon. Yeah. So, not Mary Mass. I think that was when she was born. Yeah, well, because Christmas is when he Christ was born. Christ Mass. So Mary so, Mass. But this is just called the Feast of the Assumption. Uh, Mary, when she died, she she had an express elevator up. Straight to the penthouse floor. Straight to the penthouse floor with the cats. With our little black cat. Um, Okay, well, that's fun. This is all fun. The weekend was fun, but it's time to get to work. Okay. It's Wednesday, guys, and... um. It's been one week since I've said this, but it's about time for One Word Wednesday. It's about that time. In a minute, I'm going to need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. Um, It is One Word Wednesday, guys and girls and cats up in heaven. On One Word Wednesday, we pick a word straight out of the English dictionary. We haven't learned our other languages quite yet, so we're going to stick with English. And um, we talk about it. Why not? We use it as inspiration. It's the feast day of this word. Well, not really, because I don't think it's going to die. But we <laughs> talk about it literally, symbolically, spiritually. A little bit of a Christian podcast, in case you didn't catch that, uh, the hint. But, um, yeah, it's a fun day. We like it. It's, um, it's one word Wednesday. Yeah. So what is today's word? Pollution. Pollution. Oh, golly. Is you did p- mention it earlier when you said. um, The light pollution. Light pollution. Is that when you thought of it? <laughs> no okay. i was glad that you said it pollution is there any pollution up in heaven it, light pollution as opposed to heavy pollution 
Is there any pollution up in heaven? No. No. no There's pollution. nothing negative in heaven. Okay. And pollution is negative. Pollution means... You're polluting. <laughs> it means soiling. You, ruin, like, you can't uh, use... Conta- uh, contaminating. Yeah, pollution. Right? You're contam- like So air pollution is the contamination of the air pollution. with other things. Yeah, like a water pollution, definitely. Light, light pollution is like, you know, light contaminating. It's contaminating the, the darkness. darkness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. What made you think of pollution? <laughs> Did, was it? It was. It, it was. Okay. It was. So I'm guessing you never thought of that word earlier. We talked about no. before. Okay. But that's now I'm on your side of the bench. Of what do I do with this word? Okay. Well, pollution. I like it. Okay. I'm gonna use it. I like pollution. I love pollution. <laughs> Let's just let's just jump right. Forget about the literal stuff. You know what literal pollution is, and there's a big problem, right? Yeah. And people don't seem to care. No. Now I want to talk about. Maybe we'll go back to the literal side. Maybe we'll bounce back and forth. Okay. I want to talk about the pollution of your guys' souls. Your polluted souls. You don't want that. You don't want that. Mm-mm. And so I like this word, and I'm gonna tell you why. We oft talk on this podcast about being pretty progressive. We're not here to tell anyone don't do this. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Go gamble. Go uh, spend money on feet pecs even. You can still be a Christian. Yes. Why not? Uh, sometimes we'll get pushback. Oh, the Bible is against this. The Bible is against that. Absolutely it is. When we talk about earthly things, um, I think the best pollution is like sort of a good way to put it. Like, You can have man-made lights, but too mm-hmm. much of it causes light pollution and then what happens with light pollution like the main problem light pollution doesn't really do anything physically to the earth but what happens um the birds get mixed up no forget about the birds <laughs> for like you know, every day what how does, how does light pollution affect you you can't uh, sleep if, if you i don't know if you go to a You've been on. Oh, you've been on a. Uh, you've been in a remote country before. Yes. On a boat, even. Yes. Where there's not lights for miles. What was the big thing that shocked you? That there was beauty in the darkness. Which was the stars. The stars. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The stars. Is there more stars or trees? <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, we talked about stars, and so like, that is that is that not the same thing as like the earthly things that we pollute oh, ourselves with, and it's like obstruct our view. And with like spirituality and stuff, so much of it on earth is like the stars. It's like, it's up there, right? Like it's not as tangible as the light right in front of us. It's very easy to get simple, quick fixes of enjoyment. Yes. But the stars, anyone who's seen stars in full darkness know how beautiful and grandiose they are. Right. Like there are so many stars in the sky, the light they emit the beauty in it. Right. And people try to get away for like just to see that. And so I think a lot of these earthly things we're saying is like, yeah, it's fine to, you know, do them, but to truly see the beauty of the stars, to truly get the most spiritual, it's like you need to bring down the light pollution, you know, like right. bring down this. Like you you we, you can see it with real pollution ruining nature, yes. right? Like nature's beauty is ruined by pollution. Right. And is it okay to have earthly things that cause, you know, to have an effect on pollution? Yeah, but when you have too much of that, it kills the environment. It kills that natural beauty. Right. I would compare all the natural beauty on earth to spiritual concepts. Okay. And anything that causes pollution to our earthly right. enjoyments. Yeah. And it can get in the way of it and it can blind us from that. Because it's hard to get really spiritual. It's hard to be able to... For, like because it's further away it's, right it's, it's it's harder to find the beauty in nature than it is to watch a, a, an enjoyable video right and the same thing with spirituality so i think in our own lives it's important to bring down the pollution go green go green with your spirituality <laughs> yeah um we use the word filter nowadays that you put a filter on a picture so you can look prettier but yeah i'm thinking more of filters like water filters air filters you know, and if and if you could like visualize a spiritual filter, mm-hmm. um, that you could, you know, um, purposefully put a filter in your life, so that when you are exposed to 
all of the things not not a not a locked door not a you know pull down the window shade yeah put yourself in a in a vault or a church and shut the doors and like i don't the world doesn't exist but if you have a filter that's that's you're filtering through things so like um and especially if you've ever cleaned out a water filter or an air filter you know if you don't clean it out it gets yeah fuller and fuller and fuller yeah. so you know if you go around with like a spiritual filter yes you are at the casino and you are you know living your life everywhere yeah. but if you could consciously be like oh like it's time to clean out the filter because yeah i have really been exposing myself to a lot of things that distract me from yeah or you know obstruct the, yeah, exactly. the cleanest of or, thoughts coming out and or just yeah, yeah. <clears throat> definitely with the filter concept and just that you know when you live in a city you do get like lesser air quality and stuff. And sometimes you're like, I need to take a little vacation yeah, and just go back into nature, maybe a cabin, quiet cabin, right? disconnect. Yeah. And it's like that same way spiritually where it's like, okay, well, it's fine if you're living the hustle bustle, but sometimes you need to go back. You need to get away from all that pollution. Right. Because it's, it's uh, blinding you. Yeah, because the people who want to um, rid the earth of anything that they find, you know, that assaults, anything your health or your spirituality yeah. you know it's not realistic obviously some things can be you can get rid of you know cfcs or whatever <laughs> that was a, a spray can <laughs> um but you know the other things like uh pollution is is just trash that you know from when we've eaten you know yeah um that's going to exist and but ways to okay so i ate and i produced trash but now we're, how can i get rid of this yeah. In the most, you know, beneficial way. Yeah. You know, so I just feel that the word pollution is different things that by themselves, like, aren't affecting you. But it's the pollution it's over, part is yes. when it, it takes away from. Yeah. It, it's a it's quality. The lingering effect of what was used. Right. And so yeah. that, that happens. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think just another part of it is you'll see people that are, you know, very anti pollution or anti waste or, anti all this and they will get extreme with you right like and they'll say oh you shouldn't you know you should be using one piece of toilet paper right. and, and all this stuff and i think the same thing we see it in spirituality where it's like you need to yeah do this and it's like this you say the same thing to the person who you know just pours the toilet water onto their head and takes calls a shower it's like right. i'm not doing that right I'm, and so but then the alternative is so i'm not gonna i don't care like, i don't want to yeah. hear you but someone more mild man it's like you can always do more to right. reduce your carbon footprint you can always do more to do better ways of not like spiritually polluting your mind or right. anything and it's like right. take steps you know oh i maybe we'll ride my bike to work once a week right for less pollution it's like oh, awesome that's, that's celebrated and it should be right. i think the same thing on a spiritual basis yeah. i'm going to make steps to make my carbon footprint less, I'm gonna make steps to make my my spiritual footprint more. I saw this. Um, I don't know if it's old, but it was Miss Michigan. I don't know what 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 year or what really what pageant she was in. Yeah. But she was like, "I'm Miss Michigan, the state with the most fresh water." It was like some kind of statistic about the most fresh water and the least that we can drink, uh, the least fresh water that we can drink. And it was like, yeah, you know, um, they had a lot of flint michigan yeah. had that whole um fresh water problem because it got polluted it got polluted and um yeah yeah so i think i think it makes sense i like it turns out your word wasn't that bad but yeah because well you know they say one man's trash is another man's treasure i was just looking at the um saint augustine florida has an archaeological saint augustine florida oldest city in the united states yeah um and they have an archaeological, a lot of archaeological activity there. And they were thanking, I think, volunteers who they 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 just are they're working on a site right now. And these volunteers go through like the sand and yeah. they pull up like a fragment of button and yeah. a fragment of a pin. But um, you know, trash from the past, biblical trash. It, they, when they when you find a trash pit for an archaeologist, it's like yeah, they're so happy. Yeah, um, it just you know reminds me so we live with these things we live with trash we live with um 
smoke and emissions and we live with um, bright lights of big cities that have beneficial aspects, but then they do pr- produce pollution. Yes. And it's how to live balanced yeah. in all we do. Exactly. And uh, I think we, we brought up some earlier that, you know, to get specific, because we have been talking about trash and like, I think the best way to describe pollution is the lingering effect mm-hmm. of the things that we do enjoy, right? So right. it's like the air is polluted because of where we're, we're Planes yeah, and, you're, yeah. We're buying things that were made in a factory. It's right. Like the things were nice, but it's the way they were made. And I think that's an important thing to remember when, you know, going through doing earth, like all these earthly things. It's not about, no, you're never going to, to get, be condemned because you do something that, is earthly or maybe even a sin yeah. but what you need to be worried about is the lingering effects that's going to be in the air right right so if you do like a, a small sin it, it's yeah that was fine you can be forgiven for that but you need to always be mindful about the the lingering pollution that it leaves and too much of it can it is obviously never a good thing and right. so like you said earlier i think an important thing is to be constantly clear in the pollution right like the same way in the world, pollution's made and plant more trees and that will circulate the CO2. Right. If you're doing those things, you need to be mindful that, okay, maybe it's time to plant some trees right. to clear some of that CO2 because that's what lingers. It's like hate, like hatred, you know, lingers. You might do something and that you can't, right. you, that's what you're stuck with. You can't right. get rid of it. And so what is, you know, the symbolic or spiritual trees that you can plant right. to clear some well, of right, that out? Well, right, because a tree, you know, a tree would be like a filter. Yeah. And you have to be responsible so you wouldn't just um, take tap water or whatever as if you were from any tap really, you know, you would feel you would feel more comfortable and more responsible like let me put a filter in this because I'm not sure what's coming through, yeah. you know, um, but you don't think it about yourself. You think you're just out there with, with yeah. um, absorbing everything yeah. and not being mindful like maybe this is going to make it harder for me to breathe later, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, maybe, yeah, this is going to have lingering effects. Maybe this will, like the light pollution from the first time we talked about, make me not be able to see that as much. Right. Right, like not, this will pull me away. And it's like, even though, all right, I'm looking at the stars again. It's like, well, the stars suddenly became a little more fuzzy. And, right. Uh, and it's not that you don't have the desire to look at them. It's that, You've been putting up so many lights. That yeah, that's really interesting. And that's good for faith too, right? Yeah. Because if you're in a place that seems very um, bleak and des- yeah. desperate, you might not feel God's presence. Or you might not feel the spirituality th- that is true in life. But if you just look at what you just said, if you're in a big city, you might not believe the stars are there. Yeah. When it's when you can see clearly, you can't believe there's there's more stars than black sky. You yeah. know when you can see. So it's really, yeah, a te- a I guess that is a good point of like where you are in your faith and stuff. And so then when you hear people saying there's a million stars in the sky, you, if someone was on stage telling them to someone in New York City that they would say, this guy is full of hoopla. No, yeah, there's not. Right. It's like, well, he's on the mountaintop in, in, in Montana. And it's like, yeah. it's like, if only you follow me, I can show you where the stars right. are. And it's like, I don't want to follow you. There's no stars up there. It's a waste of a trip. Right. But it's like. Be mindful of, of where you are. And maybe you're in a polluted place. Right. Both symbolically and literally. Maybe yeah. you know, people you hang around and yeah. all this. And maybe it just takes a little bit of a relocation to see them stars, baby. How about that? How about that for a one word Wednesday? Yeah. I think we knocked that out of the park. We did. Pollution. Woo. <laughs> all right, guys. That was pollution. So go out. A, so, you- a pollution solution. We just gave you a pollution <laughs> solution. So go outside and, um, you know, if the hairspray is still bad, I say we all just get rid of it. Okay. So just point them up to the sky and just spray it away. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, That's our boy, tip. We're boycotting hairspray. Yeah. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for walk through Thursday. Be there or be square. Um, until then, yeah, go out and uh, buy yourself a new filter. Peace.